All right, looks like you are at 3260. Well, my goal has always been to be in a, a business that is centered on music. Oh, I'm Dave Stidman, one of the owners of the store. My name is Pete Stidman. Um, I'm the son of Dave Stidman. That's what I do here. But I'm also <laughs> the manager of the shop. I've been here 45 years. I've also actually been around for 45 years, but I didn't start working here until the 80s. Uh, when I was 12, started at 250 <laughs> an hour. <laughs> yeah, I yeah, left for a long time and uh, started managing the shop after the pandemic started. Um, do you want a bag for this? Some of the changes that we've made recently is moving all the vinyl over here because of the, you know, the big resurgence in vinyl. There's a lot of kids coming in is a big sign for us. Now, I mean, it's just an explosion of new records coming out. I just like the album art. It's really cool to see and, and to feel that being passed down. I get to sell record players and I get to sell vinyl. That's probably like, literally, I couldn't have created a cooler job for myself. Hi, I'm David Ireland. I'm the head of global marketing and partnerships for Victrola. When I was younger, records were kind of getting phased out with cassettes. They were portable. And then the CD came along and kind of killed the cassette. And then the record kind of started coming back. This is the first time since 1987 that vinyl actually surpassed CDs. I think a lot of people in the industry were surprised to see the format catching on. And I don't think there was ever an intention to like put the CD out to pasture. I think a lot of people just don't have CD players anymore. And so I think people have gravitated towards vinyl over CDs just because of the form factor. You have the big covers, you can pull out the liner notes. There's more of an experience of putting it on. So you have to actually walk over and flip the records. It's an experience as opposed to pressing a button on your phone and walking down the street. You're setting up in the living room with a friend and putting a record on. It's like a whole, it's a whole thing. And so is coming into the shop. It's a community center for the local music scene. That was Alex Castillo on that story. Photo, the record store, excuse me, uh, the record store day has been around since 2007. A lot of shops use this day to put out special edition records that you just can't buy on other days. There's also a national vinyl day in August.